Hey y'all, it's your girl Daniela, and I'm here with the video. We're gonna do a little chat, and we're gonna talk about a few things, and then we're gonna eat this. Look, y'all, it is so yummy, y'all. Got eggs, potatoes, corn, crab, shrimp, eggs, pineapple, and then I got this here to the side. My homemade butter saucy sauce. Is it there right there? So yeah, y'all. What I want to discuss is acceptance. Um, you have to accept things for what they are. Um, don't try to paint paint around what things are. You know, like if somebody's telling you something or they're showing you something accept that because you're doing that for you instead of building illusions in your mind of something that is not even there wait y'all did i even pray hold on y'all let's pray amen Sorry, y'all. I forgot to pray. So, yeah. This is homemade butter sauce. Mmm. Dang, that's good. I use these small potatoes. I like the smaller potatoes. Mm. But yes, y'all, accept the things what people tell you and show you. That would save you a lot of trouble, too. My lemon. Hold on, y'all. I need my lemon. Hold on. Let's go. I forgot my lemon, y'all. I hate to get some lemon. Let me on. So yeah, y'all. A silk dance. Like if somebody tell you, this is me. I'm not going to change. You have to a silk day. And you have to move on from that. Like, you can't sit there and just dwell upon that. You know? You saving yourself once you learn how to accept things. Um, you know? That's for yourself. I feel like. I done had to accept so much. Just accept it and keep it moving. Somebody want to be rude to you? Let them be rude. You know? I know that might bother you a little bit. And you might be like, oh no. I ain't gonna let this slide. You know? Either you can accept it or, you know, handle it. 
or just look at them crazy and just like, yeah, you ain't got kind of sense and just walk away. <laughs> that is hot. It looks so good. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. The more and more I make this, the more and more better it tastes like. Mm. Dang, it was crap. Oh, look at, look at, look at, look at. Messy, messy, messy. Let's dig all into it. Oh, that is so hot. Mm, mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and these spices. <clears throat> this stuff is spicy. Sure. That's ice level. <laughs> I think I want a little too, too much heat. I use fresh jalapenos. I cut up some of those and then I use some chili pepper. That stuff is 
hot. Man. <clears throat> and y'all, another thing I want to talk about is uh, mental health illness. I seen um, a post. It was this guy using my friend on Facebook. And... He made a post and it said, does life insurance cover suicide? And you had a bunch of people telling him, you know, like you're stronger than they or you're better than they, you know, take this post down and, you know, things like that. And I coming in and I was like no there is a better way but see we are always so quick to judge and to tell somebody to take something down because we don't like it or we don't feel comfortable with what they're saying but when we already know like things like this go on you have people out here that really do commit suicide and they are afraid to tell somebody or talk to somebody about those things. Because it's really just like, who's going to listen? Like, who's going to be there if I tell them? You know, people always just tell you, you got to be strong and, you know, how to feel. That's not going to help. It, it's not, you know. That's, that's one reason why I try to be as nice as I can to people. Unless they're being pricks, you know. Um, because you never know what people are going through. So I always try to be as nice as I can to, to people. Because you never know what they're going through or what they're battling on a day-to-day -day basis. And if they just had somebody in their corner, you know, that can give them a little motivation or a little boost. That's how we be needed sometimes, you know. And then I've been seeing like a, 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 it's a few more people as well on my my friends list, and you know they've been talking about. Um, depression and how they're so depressed and they can't go on and things like that and everybody else you know they look at them like well suck it up nobody want to hear your sob story when that's a bad way how to look at it you you can't just look at it like don't nobody want to hear that and suck it up don't tell nobody that y'all that's even more heartbreaking and now you're really putting that person in the head space of them saying, don't nobody care anyway. That's why I made up my plan to do what I wanted to do anyway, because nobody cares, nobody listens, you know, until it's too late, you know, when, when they not did what... They done done what they had to do because they done already thought it out. But depression is real, y'all. Anxiety and stuff like that. <clears throat> Take it from me. I done been there. I done had to endure that. So I know. 
<clears throat> and I know the last thing I could tell somebody is for them not to feel like they're feeling. I want to be able to reach those people, you know, that are, that are, that are feeling that, those ways, you know, so I can be able to, to help them in some kind of way. It might not be, you know, much that I can help with, but at least I can say I tried. You got people out here feeling worthless and feeling like I done tried and tried and I done gave it my best and, you know, nothing is worth. You know, sometimes people lose sight of things. You know? Sometimes we all can't, some people can handle other things better than others. That's going to be hot. <laughs> I know that's going to be hot. Mm, that was hot. And I use the pre bowl eggs. One so it's already bowled. And it's still ready to go. <clears throat> I just used the sauce to heat them up. <laughs> Pineapple. Mm. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Pineapple. This is so good, y'all. Who would have knew? Pineapples <laughs> and butter sauce, y'all. I can't make this so. I cannot. Baby. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, y'all. But we gotta, we gotta do something to be able to fix this situation. You know where we can, we gotta start talking about this more because we have a lot of people that are losing their lives to suicide and. And because they be battling things they can't talk to nobody about because people make it so hard, you know, for somebody to come to you and talk, be able to talk to you and tell you things and stuff in, in, in that nature. I know I'm not going to eat all this, y'all. This is a lot, lot. But yeah, we got to learn how to be there for each other and stop looking to our nose up at somebody because they saying that they're in a depressed state of mind or they having suicide thoughts and, you know, stuff like that. Like, we got to stop downgrading people. That's not okay. No. Thank God that you know that you know you don't you have never done dealt with that or you never went through that you know. But at least so show some compassion or some kind of kind of empathy to somebody that is going through those things. No. We don't always have to be so self observed or observed, you know. If you know, you know. <clears throat> this is a lot. And I'm not even full. But yes, you guys, we got to help fight harder, you know, to get to a point to where we have people that don't have to deal with depression and suicidal thoughts and things like that. It's not fun, you know, even for the person that's going through it. And then you have your loved ones and they want to know, you know, what's wrong with you and stuff. But it's, it's at the last minute. Because, <clears throat> like, when I was trying to tell everybody and share with everybody, you know, what was going on and how I was feeling and what I was thinking. Like, everybody brushed me off and, you know, ignored me. So, you know, and I was just like, I'm to a point to where I'm, I'm going to make my decision and I'm going to just do what I want to do. But I just really just hope, like, because I haven't seen the dude post anything else, so I just, I, I'm just praying that, you know, he did not do anything, like, take his life. I hope he did not commit suicide, because that'll be so heartbreaking, you know, 
and me seeing that and knowing that I wasn't able to help. Y'all. So, I got back in school, taking up psychology again. And it's just like, I got to do that because it's going to help me and get in that position of where I can help these people that are that are dealing with these things and, and help them fight against it. I have been there. I know what it feels like to be depressed. I know what it's like to be suicidal. Nobody wants that, you know. So if I can help somebody fight against that, I gotta find ways to for me to be able to help. So I feel like my psychology degree will most definitely help me get there and achieve that. You know. I don't want to leave nobody out here hanging when I'm knowing, like, I have been through that. I know how to get through that. What's, what's the use? And if I'm holding in how I got through it and if I'm not going to share it with others, I want to share this with others, so how I got over <laughs> depression and how I battled and how I, you know, I want to be able to be there for somebody else, you know. I think that that is very important for us to be there for each other in those times of needs. Um, so, um, part two of my book, I'm most definitely going to put something in there because this it's not easy. Um, battling depression and, and, and you're alone. And it feels like you're all in a corner by yourself. And you want to know, like, where is everybody? Like, who really cares for me? Who is going to really show love and care for me while I'm in this state of mind? You need you. You, you need motivation. You need somebody to keep you uplifted and speaking positivity into you. Um, because you, you at that in that moment, like in that state of mind, you're not doing that for yourself. I know you should be, but you're not because you're you got so much going on in your mind. It's just like you can't do those things. So you know you having somebody in your corner that can do those things for you is amazing. You know, you know. But yes, you guys, we'll come back and we'll chop it up again. And um, we are most definitely going to get um, talk about different kinds of mental illness. And we will talk about the different functions in the brains and things like that. So yes, y'all, because this is still like a lot, a lot of food. And... My time has expedited. Yes. But for real, y'all, pineapples. And this is so good. So, so good. Oh. I'm going to cut this and I'm going to get to eat. And y'all have a good day. 
y'all stay tuned because there will be more to come a lot more to come from danny's arts and crafts well Mwah.